Guys, uh, just doing a few little bits of maintenance. Um, there was uh, some bits and bobs that to do to a few fish, but what I thought I'd do is bowl up my uh, <laughs> my yellow monkey and just uh, measure what size it was. Now it's been in the pond for what two months? It's six weeks? Six weeks, I guess, maybe maximum. It was forty-three centimeters when I bought it. 47 and a half now. Let me just double check. Look how beautiful that koi is. It's very, very calm as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Just look at it, guys. Look at the depth of it as well. That beautiful, like, mango colour. It's fantastic absolutely in love with this fish so beautiful such a character already first up for the feed last down for the feed absolutely gorgeous fantastic specimen as well guys so this was 13 cm last year it just no it was 15 cm it's 13 cm when i bought it and I got it to 15 cm just before the show, uh, before the national. It just got into size one. Now she is uh, 44 cm, which is absolutely perfect for the show in a couple of weeks. Um, I've just bowled it because I just wanted to see she was holding a tiny bit of mucus on the head, but it's pretty much gone now. Um, what a stunning fish! Just look at the gin ring in that very very nice really really lovely prospect for the show this is a, a deutsch hero uh, i believe it's coda or heroi and it is literally measuring in at 44 and a half centimeters it is just under 45 so that is uh, a really lovely prospect but look at the skin on it this is a joke, like, to be honest. Again, I bought this one last year. It was absolutely tiny. Beautiful, beautiful skin. The Saroji and the... Um, oh, it's just divine. So, really, really, really good prospect. So, lovely, beautiful fish as well. 43.5 cm. Momotero Kawako I got from Koi Water Barn. Um, very unusual fish. Um, I think I might take it just for the pure body and pattern of it. It's 43 and a half cm, so it's fallen into a good size for the show, and I really do like this fish. It is really, really beautiful. Like, you know, the memoir on it is just, well, it's gorgeous. A nice Odame, lovely Saroji. Benny is nice and consistent. Very technical fish with all the dans and the uh bits and bobs going on there but i like it so here's my nnd mud pond event fish from last year from koi wholesale it's now uh 40 47 cm so not the ideal size for the category but uh a very a very beautiful fish with a quite a decent body for the uh for the age i think so um Sumi's pretty good. It needs to come up in certain areas, but it's still pretty nice. Nice Benny. So that might be one that I would take in. So this is my Hoshikin Kawaku that I had last year, probably about 30 cm. It's now literally 50 on the button. So uh, not bad growth. Really nice body on it. Um, Benny is really nice. Very nice. So, and this is, um, I believe it's female. Very, very nice fish. So here we are then, guys. One of the superstars in my pond. This is the, look at the body on it. It's, uh, it's just getting better and better. That is a powerhouse. So this is my NND DK Line Shiro. It's 50 cm on the button now, so not the perfect size, but she's bang in the middle of the uh, size category anyway. And, um, well, 
I think that probably takes some beating to be honest. We'll see though. Go on my love. So this is my Yugenji uh, Shiro. It does suck, look, as soon as I pick it up, boom, it's just gone pink. Um, lovely, lovely koi. Lovely body, not quite as strong as the uh, Donald Kerr one. Um, and unfortunately it's 55 cm on the button. But the, um, the Sumi on this one is superb. Um, the Motoguru is coming lovely on this, so we'll have to see if I do take this one or not. We'll, we'll have a look at the VAT pointage. Um, this done really, really well in the shows last year. Um, however, I think this one in the same bat as the DK lineage is going to really show probably a, maybe the Soroji sulkiness of this one. So uh, possibly um, this may not come. I don't know yet. 54. Oh, you bugger. I'm soaking now, you twat. 54 cm. Lovely. Tanaguchi Sankey. Um, or is it a Hoshigan? No, this is a Hoshigan Sankey. Um, however, the Sumi's just started to sit down a little bit in this one. So I'm not quite sure if this one will be coming to the shows with me because I may have better prospects. But uh, she is lovely and she is growing. And the body, I've always loved the body on this fish. Absolutely lovely. Right, another day. Messed up, messed up a booking for a Saturday, so we're off. So I'm going to clean the windows later and all that kind of stuff. But what we're on today is a bit of sorting out some junk. We've got a tip run and I'm utilising my own old pond liner. You'll never guess where for. So I figured instead of buying a weed shield, I'll just puncture loads of holes in this and use it. So um, I've got a ton of chippings there. I'm just going to do this. Right, there we are then, guys. Oh, that's my hard work for the day. Just need to give it a bit of a, a clean down now. Uh, it's just a bit dusty. Oh, it's a little bit high in that corner, actually, but uh, she is where she is. Even put some plants there. So uh, a little bit of building sand there, but I'm not going to get rid of that. And even got some half-dead plants. Lovely. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> me and Wolf's just done a little bit of fishing and literally that's Wolf's first fish he's ever caught. Two of them, isn't there? Yeah. Really cool, aren't they? Baby. Yeah? Are you enjoying? What are these things in here called? Maggots. Maggots. Go on, wind it. Go on, wind it. That's it. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, Wolf. Keep going. Keep going. Right, nice and slow, nice and slow, 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 slow. Right, lift it up. Wolfie! Okay. Quick, grab your fishy. Mm. Grab no, it. Don't do that. <laughs> so, we've got a very hungry cormorant here. Let's see if I can catch him some lunch. Right then guys, it's Father's Day. So if anybody has any offspring, happy Father's Day. So Father Day is a Heineken for me. My missus just treated me to a lovely Sunday dinner. Um, she's even bought me two Acer plants. So I've got two new Acer trees, bless her. And uh, got some cold water shrimps or prawns for me fish. So, um, I'm going to give those those all day and obviously we went fishing this morning with Wolf so he took me fishing so I feel pretty fulfilled as a father so what we're going to do today is a little bit of maintenance I got to clean out the drums for scoop um, also what I've got to do is nothing much really it's everything's running itself so let's get some shrimp in here for these now
Oh, there's uh, nearly all of them gone down the drain. And they've just realised what they are. Oh, they're loving them now. So um, this morning, at about nine o'clock, I had an incoming phone call from Evo. And I was like, what's going on here? So opened the WhatsApp, said, all right, mate, UK. He goes, I can't see you. So I put the video camera on, and he's there with Takano, and Takano is going, hack a chuck a wee. So uh, that was a lovely little um, thing today to say hello to Takano and Evo, that's in Japan. So, um, I think Evo said that little video is going to come out today, so uh, I think Evo was filming me on the uh, on the video chat. <coughs> so that's going to be hilarious. But what we're going to do now is go out and get my new Acer plants. Nice. So they're not massive, but I'd rather buy them as Tozai, to be honest. <laughs> Joke. But we've got yellow waterfall and we've got green waterfall. So I think what I'll do is. I think I might well put these two together. So I've got a bigger one, but they're gonna mix. So when they grow, they'll actually fuse together. That's my plan. So I've got a lovely, really big pot by there and that's not being used. So I think I'm going to put them in there. Oh yes, it's a snack for you. Have them, lovely. What are they? No, they're nice. Are they no, they're my fish food. Oh, no. Don't waste them. No. Huh? Oh, you're not going to give those a bacterial infection now, are you? Anyway, Yasmin don't like those. Um, so what I've done, guys, is I've made a hole in the bottom of this pot, so uh, they're not the roots are not going to rot and all that kind of stuff. I've got the uh, acidic oil in there that they love. And what I've done is, um, I've, I'm gonna, they're only loose, but um, I'm gonna pin them together. Um, and what I've done is I've made two into one. So I should get two different colors of foliage in here. Um, uh, we'll see how it works out for the summer. Who knows, I might well separate them, but um, I think it'll look cool. So we've got a yellow waterfall and a green waterfall. So just think they might be quite cool to put together. So definitely makes it a bit more substantial anyway. Just need to get a bit of irrigation pipe to go into that now and uh, figure out where I'm going to put it. Uh-huh. <laughs> it is Father's Day. What's on the cards, babe? Had your two Easter trees. You've been out for. Oh my god, you pay for lunch. I. You see? Sorry, Lee. I tell you what, I'll go and get you a drink. Uh, wait. Only because mine's empty. Actually, guys, when she's getting me a drink, let me show you how the motorcycle build is coming on, i.e., the Magoi. We've had massive push ons with this. I haven't been posting it because. Uh, I've been busy doing it, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, so I'll turn you around and explain what I've done, what I've got left to put on it, and what I'm waiting to order and what I'm waiting for because there's a few bits and bobs that is coming. Uh, I've done one little job, which I don't like, so I'm gonna redo that. But um, 
I'm having a nice day with the family at the moment. So uh, this is kind of the things I do when they go to bed early and I'm in the gar in the garage. Excuse me, on me own. Right, so here we are, the Magoi. So, as you can see, it has changed quite a lot. So what we've done, the first thing you can see is um, the front end has all been, up, uh, you know, like, you know, revamped, basically. So uh, I'm in two minds whether to keep these forks silver. But what we've done is the, the wheel, uh, the rim has been totally stripped down and uh, resprayed. Um, the bottom of the forks have been resprayed black. Uh, what I've done is I've stripped the calipers. Uh, they've all been overhauled and put back in situ. Um, just tidied up the brake discs because I've been used for a while and uh, jobs are good in. So up here, what we've done is we have uh, overhauled all of these. These have been sort of like cleaned up and sprayed. So I quite like the fact that we've got a bit of red and a bit of red here. So that'll be held there when we get the clutch cable um, attached. The top yoke at the moment is down with a friend of mine in Trident Engineering in Llanelli, and he is boring a hole out. So when I put the new stem through, which comes out, the stem was bigger than the actual hold, uh, the hole in the Suzuki top, top uh, yoke. So that's getting milled out and it's going to go back on. We've got a new radiator fitted. Um, so I thought to myself, I'm going to get a new radiator fitted because it's such an integral part of the bike. You can see it. I'm going to cut out a BMW logo here uh, and that's going to be put on and then I'm going to spray the rest black. Now, these things are there for the original bike sort of, um, what can I say, um, fairings, I guess. Um, I might leave these on because... I'm not going to grind them off and maybe I can do something with them in the future. I don't know. But the, all the engine has been um, sandblasted and then degreased and then all resprayed, as you can see. I'm in two minds whether to um, get this BMW logo silver again. I possibly will do that. We'll see. Um, I've got new silicon hoses all around, apart from the silicon hose that goes through the... Uh, uh the, the 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 crankcase here um what else have we got so all the swing arms being upholded we've got all the brembo uh back brakes uh rear sets put on properly so the seat was a bit of a problem the seat i was going to make a seat pan to go onto these here but i've realized that from the rear you're gonna see these little tags and I don't like that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove these and over there, we've got two mil mild steel sheeting. So I'm gonna cut a sheet to go all the way in here and bend up here. So the sheet will be welded flat into there and that will give me a really lovely base in there. Be nice and black and lovely, nothing obstructing it. And then what my sister's gonna do, we're gonna get some, um, nice durable plastic of some sorts make the seat and then the seat will be put on to the um will be bonded onto the uh, onto the metal here because then that won't need to ever come off um what have we got this side carbs i've taken the carbs off i've cleaned those in the ultrasonic they're all lovely ready to go still thinking about the exhaust at the moment so there's a really lovely second hand exhaust just up the road from me um I was talking to the chap, I said, listen, I said, obviously it's not to go on the original bike that's meant to come off, but I really need to see it and have it here just to see if the angle of the dangle is correct that will fit onto this motorcycle. So uh, he's meant to be coming down today, but it's Father's Day, so I, I don't really I don't really want to be messing around with that. So what I might do is uh, is go and see him next week or something. And if it goes, it goes. It is what it is. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. So what else have we got in here to show you? Like I said, we've got a lovely little pipe cross filter that I got from a car boot sale, and that is going to be located onto the uh, airflow sensor. Now, I was originally going to be using this. However, since I put the new rad on, that little button there, screw cap, uh, interferes with my uh, <laughs> original plan. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this off, 
I'm going to use this on my next motorbike build. Yes, yeah, so you've heard it, another motorbike build. So I'm going to use this on my next motorbike build. Um, and what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make a, a back plate and just have that coming straight off like that. So basically, this sits by there, which still looks absolutely banging. So I think that's my favourite three pound I've ever spent. Uh, that's the ECU, that's going to be hidden away. These are pretty trick guys, so these are from a company called uh, Moto Gadget. And these are going to be located on the handlebars here. And these are basically the switches. So inside there you just do. So that's when all of these things come off. Because these are the old things, but I've just put them there just so I can clean everything off and get everything prepped. But that is going to be the switches for the bicycle. What else have we got in here? Lots of bits and bobs. We've got a lovely light there, LED one. And yeah, a few other bits and bobs, but I thought everyone would be interested just to see where we are. Uh, actually, this is another little thing. So I'm gonna go and see one of my friends to make a custom stainless steel exhaust, okay? So this is the air box here. So the air box goes in there and those three outlets goes on in there and then you got that big black box there. Okay, it looks okay. It doesn't look out of place. It does match most things. But what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get a custom titanium little pipe set set in there. I get him to make those so it slots on like a good one and that'll look very nice. But I love this. Look how nice that looks now, guys. What an engine. BMW sure know how to make a crazy looking bike. The flying brick, AKA the Magoi. So you can see that the back wheel is missing. So what I've done is I've sourced a back wheel from a BMW R100, I think it is. So the original rims are down on the floor there, but they're only three inches in diameter. So that uh, restricts me for the size of the tire I can put on the back of this. I can only put a maximum of a 140 tire. So I wanna put a 170 tire on there. So what I've done is I found um, a wheel, super, super cheap on eBay. So I bought that, but because it's a single-sided swing arm, when I bolted it onto this, the center of the tire, if you imagine that's the center of the bike, the center of the tire was running about 20 mil off, or 15 mil off center. So what we've done is I've taken it down to my friend and we're gonna mill off 10 mil of the thickness of the hub, which still gives me a load of hub. But what that does is it pulls the tire back into line so the per bike performs correctly banking on each side um it will definitely make it easier to get my knee down one way rather than the other but anyway we don't want to be crabbing uh along the m4 uh at uh, 70 miles an hour so um yeah so that's the uh that's the mago guy so the next thing i'm going to do actually is take the tank down once i've got that back plate welded in here i'm going to take the tank down to my mate and he is going to give me a perfect gloss black finish on that tank so I can um, start thinking about the uh, spray job or the gold leaf or the pinstripe and I want to do on it so um, that is another thing once that once that's gloss and it's on there I'm almost thinking guys now uh, of buying some matte or some satin um, wrap that you put on cars or something like that and actually using the wrap to half wrap the tank in in satin and half in matte, uh, gloss and that will bounce off everything that i've got there on that bike so we will see who knows it's going on in my head as we're going along anyway hopefully the missus got my prosecco <coughs> excuse you <coughs> Excuse you. Hey, Yaz, I'll be thirsty by the time I drink that. Oh, is it? Don't worry, it doesn't go flat in my hand. But anyway, the pond is absolutely fantastic. So, guys, unfortunately, you know, I said I was going to probably offload that tancho because nothing wrong with it. I'm just not feeling tanchos this year. So that has been rehomed. Uh, loads and loads of people got in contact with me. 
Pardon? It's not done nothing to me. It's a really, really spectacular um, uh, fish of that variety. It's just... No, I... Yes, I did. Yeah, Takano and Evo FaceTimed me this morning, which yeah. was really nice. And as always, Lee went, yes, look, hi. I don't think Takano would worry if you've got makeup or not on. You are female. Or as he would say in Japan, that means female. Ah, Don't ask me why. But every time he points at a fish, I go, that's nice, that male or female. And he goes, Hutakachui. Yes, you are absolutely lovely. Not when you put that face that you're ridic ridiculously disgusted about me. I don't want to be rude, but I'm making videos of myself. <laughs> you got me. So here's sleepy boy coming down. Nothing funnier than a toddler after him. <laughs> and look, uh, coming straight down to a midday snack. Oh, oh, oh it's, no, that's, that's, oh, that's not a sausage. And then that's a pickle. Mars bar. That would probably be consumed last, my friend. Do you want to sit here? We'll be and mummy put it up here. <laughs> 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 oh dear, you've had a Take your shoes off. Have oh, you had a wee wee? Is that you can have your shoes? Right, unfortunately, Wolf has got a taste for fishing, haven't you? Yeah. Did you catch a fishy today? Yeah. How many fishies did you catch? Yeah. You didn't catch those fishies. Yeah. But we're gonna set up Daddy's carp fishing stuff, aren't we? Yay! Yay! Yeah. Quick, Wolf, get in your bed. No, get in your, no, 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 no. Go in your bed and I'll close the door, yeah? Right, I'll close the door now for you one minute. Right, here we are. So, Wolf is <laughs> koi fishing. Just quick, say happy part of things. They want no So, here we are. Wolfie, are you been koi fishing? Show everyone your house. So, where's your bed? So, get in your bed. Is it very comfy? And should we show everyone your new chair? One minute, let me get your chair for you. Go on then, get in your chair then. And this is Wolf's chair where he sits down and he looks for the fishies he's going to catch. Isn't it, Wolf? <laughs> you love it. Oh, I don't know. Actually, let me do that. Pull him. And that one. And that one. Okay, Spin the top there. Right, now you're ready. So, Wolf is currently fishing. We haven't got any reels on there, but I don't want to tempt fate. So, ambush is set. Right, Wolfie, what are we doing? No. We're fishing. fishing. So, what we've got is... <laughs> We have got some um, Daiwa Bezier uh, Infinity DF rods. So these are my 12 foot rods that I use for the UK. I've actually got four of them, but at the moment, my Fox uh, pod is set up for a, for a, a tri setup. Uh, what we've got is uh, Fox bite alarms. Turn these off. Um, and I haven't put my reels on because they're sort of like buried under the bottom. But uh, Wolf is totally in his element. He thinks he's going to catch a fish again tonight. Probably Tony in there. All right. So um, he's a good boy. And I think you're going to be a carp fisherman, aren't you? I can't imagine you being anything else. But we're going sea fishing tomorrow, aren't we, Wolf? See that now? That's your receiver. You've got to keep that around your neck. So if you go to see your friend around the other side of the lake for a beer, you've always got that. And if that goes beep, 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 you've caught a fish. Do you know that? I'll show to use that when we go fishing next time properly. But um, as you can see, I'm slowly trying to break this child into fishing. 
one of the best pastimes and ways to support your family around the world ever invented. So, um, yeah, Wolf's just playing with his dinosaur now. So anyway, from me, from Wolf, from Yazzie, I've had to stop it. She went to see Harry Styles last weekend and now she wants to marry the fella. I've got some competition, haven't I? Next time. <laughs>